Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Crag Cottage. <laughs> um, I'm supposed to be out today, out on a vlog, and the weather is absolutely horrendous. It's just rained constantly for the last three or four days, flooding all over the place. I thought, you know what, rather than risking going out and not being able to come back or getting stranded somewhere in a river, you know, um, I thought I would do something that is well and truly overdue, and that is a review sort of review of my camera bag. The, the bag that I take out with me on all of my vlogs, something that has essentially changed my life. Um, so let's get into that. Okay, what I'm gonna do to start with is give you a little bit of a backstory about how I arrived at this bag. If you're not interested in that, and just wanna see the features, just skip ahead to the next chapter. Okay, let's go back maybe six or seven years um, I was running around with a Canon 5D Mark II at the time, two lenses, 24-70, 70-200, um, and I didn't have a proper mounting bag. So my camera, I used to run around with my camera in an ordinary camera bag such as this. This is like a low pro, you know, normal camera bag, uh, perfect for looking after your gear, um, all your camera equipment, that kind of stuff but not great for anything else. So what I used to do is I used to sort of shoehorn water in there, bottles of water, a bit of food, maybe a, a, um, a small fleece, and then put a coat through the strap and, and that sort of thing when I used to get out in the mountains. And it just wasn't enough really for those long days out in the mountain. Um, so what I did after that was I, I used a normal backpack, and uh, which was great for obviously all your walking gear, your coat, your food, your water, all that kind of stuff. But there's nowhere really to put your camera. So what I used to do is put my camera inside a smaller uh, camera bag, not that one, and stuff that into the backpack. And I mean, it was all right. It was, you know, it, it did the job, but it was uh, it was cumbersome when it came to taking shots. So you'd see something, wow, that's looking amazing. You'd be there faffing around, taking coats out of the way, pulling the bag out of the bag and then unzipping it and getting your camera out and by the time you've done that the shot's gone um, so it wasn't great for that really and I got to the point where I actually ditched the camera bag and I just to stuff the camera in the backpack wrapped up in fleeces and stuff like that and um, obviously that's not great for the protection of your camera and I think I might have done a little bit of damage to one or two lenses um, over the years. So that wasn't really a very good solution. So I, I ended up looking online for, for a, a better solution because I, I thought, you know, I, I deserve something better than that. You know, I'm serious about this. So I looked at, um, oh, well, I came across F-Stop and I saw them, they looked exactly what I wanted, absolutely perfect, but my goodness, were they expensive. And that put me off really, I thought, no, nah, I'm not spending that amount of money on a bag. It's that's ridiculous. So I spent another 12 months maybe running around with the backpack idea until it was just too much. I was really inflicting actual damage on my on my camera and my lenses. And I thought, you know what? I've invested this amount of money into this equipment. Why can't I spend a little bit more money and for something that's going to protect that equipment when I'm out in really inhospitable environments, you know, I mean, they, they can be pretty horrendous up in the mountains. And so I decided I was going to bite the bullet. I was going to go with F-Stop. F-Stop were the market leaders, and I think they still are the market leaders um, in this this kind of action camera bag. And for good reason. I mean, they are absolutely incredible bags. I mean, I've waxed lyrical about this bag over Instagram quite a lot. I mean, it's a proper love affair. It's ridiculous, honestly. But, you know... I wouldn't do that if um, if it wasn't that good. So, just want to say at this point, by the way, uh, F-Stop, don't know I'm doing this video, I bought this bag with my own money. Um, they haven't sponsored me or anything like that, so this is an honest, genuine review of the bag. So once I'd finally accepted that I needed an F-Stop bag, the next question was, which one? I mean, there's a lot. You know, and in the mountain series, there are a lot of bags, and it was pretty obvious the amount of equipment that I take into the, the mountains here. I need the biggest bag they've got, and the biggest bag they've got, or they had, maybe still got, I don't know, is the Shin um, 80 litres 
this bad boy is. And it is massive. You can get a lot of gear in here. So the reason why I wanted the 80 litre was not only for the, the amount of equipment I can take, coats, fleeces, food, water, that kind of stuff. I also wanted a camera bag where I could have my 70 to 200 on the camera with the lens hood, you know, properly deployed. Um, I wanted to be able to just literally grab the bag, open it, pull my camera out and start shooting and not having to put a lens on or put the lens hood on or anything like that. I just wanted to be ready to go. So it was really important that I had a bag that did that. And this allows me to do that. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll probably just talk about, talk about the external features to start with and then we'll dive on inside and show you how I've got my camera set up in there <coughs> and any other features that might be of interest. So let's look around the outside of the bag first. It's probably worth mentioning at this point that this bag is four years old. I've absolutely hammered it. So this is not a new bag that you're seeing here looking all beautiful and gorgeous and shiny and whatever. This is battered. I've absolutely battered this. You can see all the scuff marks all over the place. It's absolutely filthy. Um, it's a well-used bag and I really do abuse it. I'm not kidding you. I really do abuse it. Like I said, it's on every single vlog I've done and it goes out with me on every single foot trip that I do as well. Um, and it's just, it's a proper workhorse. So, I mean, if you want to know what this material is, you can probably go to the website, you know, it's probably some kind of ripstop material. I don't know. Um, there's probably a fancy name for it. All I know is, is it's flipping tough. It is bomb proof. It's, it's really tough. And um, <clears throat> it is rain resistant. I wouldn't say it's waterproof. I would say it's rain resistant. If you threw this in a river, it's, it's going to let water in, obviously. You know, there's big holes everywhere um, where you put your hydration tube, that kind of stuff, and obviously zips. But in terms of rain and showers, it is very effective at keeping the moisture out. Um, on days where it's torrential rain all day, persistent rain, or really, really heavy showers, I think what I, will, what I do, I always do, is add an extra bit of um, waterproofing by putting my gear inside uh, dry bags. So lenses inside dry bags, clothing inside dry bags, that sort of thing, just to give a bit more uh, protection. Because on those long days, it's been raining for eight hours or whatever, it can get a bit damp inside and it's not wet it's just a bit damp and i don't want my gear getting damp really um but in terms of performance in the rain you don't need an outside dry um you know uh, rain cover or whatever it is this will pretty much stop the rain um in terms of the zips they're all protected with these weather sealed um zip style zip <laughs> Um, where obviously the, the, uh, the material closes back over the zip. That's on these external facing pockets. The main compartment pocket doesn't have that, but it has a flap that goes over it, which pretty much stops all the water going in anyway. So that's fine. In terms of the actual zips themselves, um, all of these here, different compartments, the main compartment, compartment at the back as well, which I'll go into in a minute. Um, they're all YKK zips, so you know it's good quality. I mean, YKK, they're pretty much the industry standard for, for good zips that aren't going to break. <laughs> um, and like I said, I'm in and out of this all the time. I'm very rough with it. Um, and, well, there's just, there's just no, there's no wear and tear at all. It's, it's incredible. So on the outside of the bag here, you've got this rubber plate. Um, which pretty much protects the, the bag from, from rubble and, and, and all kinds of uh, terrain that you might put your bag down on when you're accessing the, the actual camera compartment and the, the back panel there. Um, so you've got that. Various pockets. I mean, you've got this pocket here. I've, got, I've actually got a rain cover here. I don't use it as a rain cover. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't use that as a rain cover. I use that as a seat. So if it's uh, a bit damp, I can just sit on that and not get my backside wet. Um, same rubberized bottom as that there, so that protects it a lot. You've got a pretty massive pocket here on the front. It's my waterproof trousers. I've got my mitts in here. I put Finn's little dog coat in there as well. Various dry bags. <laughs> Sunglasses, don't need them today. Gloves and a bin bag. I've got a whole bunch of batteries in here as well, I don't even know what they are. Um, so yeah, really big pocket, you can stuff all sorts of stuff in. 
uh, for quick and easy access. Again, rain resistant, nothing's going to get wet in there, especially if you put things in dry bags as well, like I have there. Uh, side pockets, you've got a couple of side pockets here. Um, you can open these here. So I never really put anything here, actually. I'm, oh, I've got a pair of gloves in there at the moment. Um, the idea of this is you put your tripod, if you had a tripod, you'd put it down the side here, uh, clip it in, and you put one of the legs in, in down here, but I never do that, really. Um, I rarely carry a tripod, and what I do, I just, I just wrap, I just clip it in there, that, that'll do. Um, so, another one on the other side. Top pocket we've got here. Um, this is handy for, well, I'll tell you what I use it for. I've got another little pouch in here, F-stop, of course. All my little smaller gadgety type things. So bits of wires and, and spare batteries, um, cloths, um, lots of small stuff that I want to keep together. It's very handy indeed. Like a little wash bag there, isn't it? So that goes in there. All my cards, spare batteries, charger, head torch, cleaning kit goes in there as well. Some plasters in there as well. So that's handy for, again, quick access stuff that you don't want to have to open the main compartment for. Then we've got the main backpack compartment which opens up and this is where you basically put all your, your mounting gear, your clothing. So I've got my Prima Loft in there, again dry bag. I've got my hat, I've got a shell jacket there and this is where I put my food and uh, anything else that needs to go in there, storm shelter, whatever. Um, this is also, this also has a compartment for a hydration pack. So I put a two litre hydration bladder in there and it comes out this little um, access point here. And I drop it down through the, the D, D ring there. So yes, yeah, so you can carry a lot of water, which is something that I really struggle with, with those smaller, um, camera bags, you know, end up taking a tiny bottle of water because that's all of fitting into the, the compartments where you put your lenses and end up re dehydrated. Okay, and that now leads me on to, I think, one of the main uh, features, positive features of this bag, and that is the uh, access to the camera uh, compartment through this back panel here. So I think FDOT were probably one of the first companies to do that. A lot of camera ma bag manufacturers now make a similar sort of access uh, panel. So rather than rather than getting to the camera gear through a, a pocket here or what have you, uh, it's through the back. Now, the advantage of that is if you are in a built up area and it's a bit dodgy, <laughs> or you, you know, you're just in a crowd somewhere, you know that no one's gonna get access to your camera because basically that access point is against your back. There's no way of getting into the camera gear any other way. Um, so there's that. And then the second advantage of having this here, this access point here, is when you are out and about and it's wet, it's rainy, it's muddy, and you want to get your camera out, and you're putting your bag down, what you don't want to be doing is putting your bag down like that getting your, back, your camera out, doo -doo -doo -doo, get some shots, some real bangers, <laughs> put it back in, go to put it back on your back. Ooh, it's looking a bit wet and muddy and horrible. Do I, ooh, okay, that's no good. What you do, this one, is you put it on there, right on that nice rubberized bit there, protecting it, and you've got access to everything you need. Perfect. So, let's get inside. Let's go and have a look at what we've got in here. So as I said, right at the beginning, I wanted a bag, there's me coat and everything. I wanted a, a bag that could accommodate my full camera setup with the lens on, with the lens hood attached as well. Um, so what I did and what F-Stop do is they provide different uh, internal camera units, they call them internal camera units, ICUs they call them. Um, and it's just basically a, an internal camera bag really that goes inside the main bag itself and you get different sizes of these different sizes different shapes this is the large um i wanted to go for the large for that exact reason of having the full setup ready to go and it's perfect you know i've just got that there 
I can just grab it, pull it out, and I'm, I'm good to go. I can take my shots uh, and, and put the camera back quickly as well if, if suddenly the weather changes or whatever. Um, as well as that, I've got a little lens in here. That's my uh, 16 to 35, so it's quite a bulky lens. I've also got my drone, that's a Mavic uh, Pro, and the controller, and two spare batteries, and some, um, what they're called, filters for the for the drone, and various other bits and pieces as well, like a bit of a, um, a dry bag there as well, and what have you. Obviously, like all camera bags, these can be reconfigured to whatever you want, but you can see the capacity there. It's It's immense. And I could I could really increase the capacity if I was to strip the camera down a bit more and and you know maybe not have that lens on full time, cut that in half, put another lens in there, put another body in there. You know, it's the the, the sky's the limit really. Uh, and on the inside of this panel here as well, you've got more pockets. I never use them to be honest with you because I think it's you'll end up just pushing against your gear. Uh, you can probably see a little bit of scuff marks there. Like I said, I've had this for four years. I've, I've beaten the hell out of it. And I've got a little bit of gaffer tape here as well because I could see right at the beginning that it was starting to, it could have worn around there. So I've protected this area with a bit of gaffer tape just to stop it from wearing out. Um, so that's that. You've got your massive, I didn't talk about these, I should have talked about these when I was doing the outside, but really broad um, waist straps here. I mean, these are actually the broadest I've ever seen in a, in, a, in a bag and incredibly well padded as well. This makes such a big difference to the comfort of this bag, actually. This and the incredibly wide and thick padded shoulder straps. For, the, for its size, this is an 80 litre bag. I'm carrying on a, on a typical vlog around about 20 kilos because I've got all this gear plus vlogging gear. Um, is a, it's very heavy, but when this, with the, the way this is set up, the way it's balanced, the way you've got the, the waist straps here and the, the decent shoulder straps, it is really comfortable. There's no pain whatsoever. Absolutely none, except for one, but I'll come to that in a minute when it comes to the negatives. Um, there are a couple of uh, places where they could improve. So again, I've missed out a couple of things on the outside as well. You've got some little pockets here on your shoulder straps. Similar little netting pockets here on your waist straps. Um, you've got a little loop there for your, your hydration tube. You can pop in there. Stern strap. And you've got the usual uh, whistle. Which kind of works. It does work. <laughs> I'll do it in the house. And you've also got these carrying straps here, which are really handy. There's one on the top. And there's one somewhere else on the side here. Let me just zip this up because everything is going to go everywhere. Go on the side there as well. Just great this, you know, hoofing it into the back of the van, that sort of stuff. Before I go on, I think I'm going to talk about a couple of negatives because there are a couple of negatives, but they're really minor, honestly. It's, it's just me being a bit nitpicky, maybe. Uh, one of them is these zips here at the back. So when you're fastening up your back panel there, Sometimes, if you have them in the wrong position, they can end up digging into your back quite a bit. I've, I've kind of been in quite a bit of pain uh, sometimes when I've not paid attention to where these zips are. So all you, to get around that, all you do is just make sure that the zip is a bit further down like that, then it's no longer touching your back up around here. The other one, um, and this might be for the people that carry tripods, there isn't a dedicated tripod um, mounting system thing. I think quite a lot of people have, have complained about that in the past. Um, but for me, that's just not a big deal at all. Like I said, I just shove the legs through there and one leg out the back, out the, the side there, and that's me, I'm good. And the thing that probably bothers me the most about this bag is the lack of uh, waist belt pockets. It would have been nice to have had a decent zipped pocket on both or at least one side of the uh, the belt so you can put all your paraphernalia in there you know sweets or spare batteries lens cloth that kind of stuff um it's not a showstopper i've got this i think a lot of you have seen this on my vlogs i get around that problem using a chest pouch but you know they're they're kind of nitpicky things really they're not showstoppers for me at all um the positives far outweigh any of those little nitpicky negatives you know it, 
this isn't really a product review as such. It's more me just saying that this bag has pretty much revolutionized the way that I did photography, or I do photography. Uh, back in 2017, when I first got it, it was just the most exciting thing in the world because I could go out for full days out with all the gear I need, um, all the water, all the food, everything to keep me warm, all the camera, all the lenses and cameras that I'd ever need and spare batteries. And I could stay out pretty much, well, as long as I wanted to really, until I ran out of food and water or got bored, you know. Um, so I was never sort of uh, driven off the mountain because I'd run out of water or run out of food or didn't have the right lens or didn't have a, a suitable uh, jacket to keep you, you know, warm or dry or that kind of thing. Um, so it, it changed, really. It, it just opened up a whole new world of photography for me, you know, up in the mountains there and, and, and doing that kind of stuff. I mean, like I said, there are other brands out there that do a similar sort of offering. Um, but for me, because it's been so comfortable, because I've been able to get all the gear in it, and because it is so tough. I mean, I'm just looking at it now. I, like I, I keep saying I, I abuse this on a weekly basis, and I have done for the last four years. I'm looking around, and there's, there's no wear and tear. It's a little bit dirty, and a little bit scuffed maybe on these softer parts, but all around the top here, when I'm in and out all the time, the stitching's all in place. There's not a stitch out of place. It, it is incredible. It really is incredible. Um, yeah, so I can highly recommend this bag. Like I say, they're not cheap. But when you invest the amount of money that you do in photography, you're spending thousands of pounds on, on, on very delicate equipment, what is a few hundred quid for something that's going to protect them and allow you to get to places that you probably wouldn't have been able to get to before because you didn't have the right equipment with you? Like I said, it's, it's absolutely bomb-proof and it's protected my gear for, for four years in pretty horrible um, terrain and uh, weather conditions. So yeah, I have a funny feeling. Today is the 30th of October, 2021. I have a funny feeling they've got a new version of this coming out or of maybe their entire mountain series. I'm not too sure. I saw an announcement this morning that perhaps on the 1st of November, which is probably the past now, now that you're watching this, um, they were bringing out new model of the Shane the Tilopa and the Agenaire, I think it is, that they're doing. Um, so keep an eye out for that. It's probably it's probably got more improvements. It might even have the, the tripod thing. It might even have pockets. Who knows? But uh, I can guarantee if it's anything like this, it will do you proud. It really will. Um, so I hope you found this useful. Like I said, uh, F-Stop have not paid me to do this. Um, they, never, they didn't send me this. I bought this myself with my own money. Um, it is a fantastic piece of kit and I hope you've, you've found this useful. If you've got any questions, just find them down below in the comments and I'll try and answer them. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys on the next vlog. It's actually looking really nice out there now. I can't believe it. So I might actually go and do a little micro vlog now. So I'll see you guys later.